Mike, tonight's game may be a good indication that your club has come through this relatively well and you're, you're set to go Wednesday night? Well, we're healthy, so I think that's important besides, obviously, Dermy and Himes. Uh, you know, I thought we made some progress during exhibition, if nothing more than just getting to know the players and get to handle the bench and understand how to use certain guys, learn a lot more about uh, Barry and Cease and Kerfoot and Mikheyev and Korshkov and all the people they've never seen before. Um, you know, it's it's time to get at her. What did you learn about the organization's depth uh, this camp? Well, I think uh, what I've learned is is you know some real good additions, obviously this summer, and the fact that you know Mikheyev, I think, has a chance. He looks like a real hockey player. Um, the trades we made. Uh, our back end, ideally, we take a step on the back end. Uh, I think the growth of a guy like Sandin is is real. Morsey looks like a hockey player now, um, which is positive. I think Goat's way better. That's positive. All, all the the main pieces that you've been thinking are good for a long time are way better. So that's positive too, and more confident. Um, you know, I mean, we're like every team. There's 31 teams. We all got hope right now. You were talking about the power play this morning, and you like seeing the puck go in the net. It happened with both units tonight. Satisfying, at least from just going forward into Wednesday night. Well, I, I think what I talked about is there's some things we had to do better, but there was lots of really good things about it. And so it's just a matter of time. I think we got a good scheme. I think we got good players. And so ideally, it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't go as good as you want. You just got to keep doing good things and it'll happen. I thought we had good tenacity tonight. You know, our group last night had unbelievable tenacity and we asked this group to do the same. I thought we did a pretty good job. What are your thoughts on Justin Hall and his chances of sticking in the NHL? Yeah, well, what we got basically is we got uh, about 10 guys there. You know, we got four, one like Sandy, and then we got to figure out what we're going to do. So we're just in there doing that right now and grinding away and debating. The good thing about it is, I mean, you know, we've got a new person running the back and hack that was a minor league D-man that's been a head coach in the NHL that didn't have an opinion on any guy. So to think any of your past is affecting what's going on here, it's not. It's what you've done here. Now, the other thing that happens is, the great thing about it with waivers, with Marley's, is you, you still have recourse. So you try to make the best decision you can and go from there. Austin was just saying it seems like camp's been a month long. He has spent the hot. Uh, looking ahead, you guys maybe think about getting down to six next year, games wise, do you think? Or? Well, the problem is is that our, our big guys are playing the same amount of games. He played four games, right? So then the, the guys that you're given a chance to try out don't get as good a tryout. So it's easy to say you want to do that. The trainers and the coaches are going to each one. Players are only going to four. So, and they're going to four whether we have six or eight or ten. So, 